So here we would like to uh, compute the outward flux. of the vector field f of x, y, z. Equal to x squared minus uh, sine of z squared two y cubed and five z squared minus e to the x cubed uh, through the boundary of the unit cube. So the unit cube is zero one, cross zero one, cross zero one. Okay, uh, so what do we need to keep in mind here in terms of our theory? That if we wish to compute the outward flux through the boundary of a domain, that's the same thing as the divergence, the triple integral of the divergence of f in the uh, interior of that domain. Uh, here we should recall that the divergence of f is simply the gradient operator dot with f. So what does that mean in terms of uh, the specific vector field that we have? It means that its divergence will be found by taking the partial derivative with respect to x of the first component, that's the meaning of what I just wrote, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the second component, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the third component. And doing this differentiation reads us of all the possibly uh, unpleasant functions that we have here, which if we had to integrate, that would have been a problem. So we get 2x uh, plus 6y squared plus 10c. And that's what we need to integrate. So let's do that. Integrate that from 0, 1 to 0, 1. I'm sorry, from 0 to 1 with respect to all variables. So start with x. So that will give us the antiderivative with respect to x is x squared plus 6y squared x plus 10zx. And you want to uh, go here from x equals uh, 0 to x equals 1. And this will be from 0 to 1 dy and from 0 to 1 dc. So it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, 0, 1, 0, 1 of 1 plus uh, 6y squared plus 10c. And now we want to integrate first with respect to y, then with respect to z. Let's integrate with respect to y. That will give us y plus um, 2y cubed. It's 6y cubed over 3, so that's 2y cubed plus uh, 5z squared. So it's 10z squared over 2. Uh, oops, no, it's with respect to y. So I take this back. It's much simpler. It's simply 10 z times y. My apologies for the mistake. We have to go from y equals 0 to y equals 1. And 
then from zero to one dx. So uh, this will be what? It will be the integral from zero to one of one plus two plus 10 z. Uh, again, a mistake here. This is not dx, this is dz. Sorry about this. And finally, we have to take this last and derivative. So it will be 3z plus 5z squared. And we want to go from 0 to 1, which will give us simply 8. And that's it.